Good day everyone. Just out in the garage and thought I would make a quick little video explaining how to wire a switch leg. Basically the wire that goes down to a switch from a light that has constant power. So we'll take this keyless as an example. This can represent any light. This is just a standard, most generic style, but it can be anything. Any light, you're going to have your hot and your neutral come to it and a ground. Some will have a spot for ground, same as on switches, some will not. Most switches don't, depending on the size. They get bonded or grounded from the screws and going into the box. That's what bonds the, the metal part. So, if there is a ground, hook it up to it. In this case, there isn't. Just to show quickly, actually, on the sense of your ground, inside a box, this would be just a a regular one that I was using for a switch, you will see the screw at the bottom. So that's where your ground wire goes to bond the metal itself. So what you do is make your ground long enough that you go around it first, strip a little bit, go around it, and then connect to whatever device is above it. That way it ensures while undoing your device you never lose this is always grounded. Hope that helps. So for the grounds in this case, because there isn't one, I'm just going to bend it out of the way. Just to show you. So you have your, your hot and your neutral coming into any light. Constant power. So now we want to add a switch. So you're, this will represent your wire that you're running down the wall wherever you're doing it, whether in your basement, wherever you're putting one in. Quick thing on switches, if you're going to go buy a switch, make sure that it is just a two contacts. I can show you quickly here. Just a simple make-break switch. No continuity. Continuity. The other one you're going to see in your house, you might see a four-way, but a three-way is your other common. This is where you have two switches operating one light. I'm not going to go through that one here, but just to show you the difference to make sure that if you go to your hardware store to buy one, that you get the one with two screws, not the one with three. This one has a common point and a switch back and forth. Just to sort of show that. Nothing. Hit the switch, but now when we turn it off, we have continuity with that one. So make sure you don't get a three-way for this scenario. I can make a different video for that actually to show people how it works. Okay, so we got our switch. To show you the difference real quickly. So there's what your single switch is doing. This is what your three-way is doing. Switching in between the two. So for this case, we want to wire up a switch. When putting a wire underneath a screw, always go clockwise. That way, as you're tightening, it tightens down on the screw in the hoop compared to if you do it counterclockwise. If you go around the other way, it'll actually, it's going to want to open it up as it tightens. This tightens the connection, the other way loosens it. Again, just move these out of the way. Needle nose is a little quicker, but uh, don't have those handy. So we'll do it this way. So down at the switch, it's not a big deal which one to go where. Either way, you're making or breaking that circuit. Where it becomes critical now, so down at that box, at your switch, just connect it. All good. Now when we come up here, this is the part a lot of people don't get right. 
Oops, hit my phone there. There we go. So now what we want to do, again, I'll just move this ground out of the way. It would go to the box. Is we want to disconnect the hot. In the end, what we're doing is we want to switch this leg right here. So we want to put a switch here before the power gets to the actual light. It's going to come back on your neutral no matter what. So this is the one that we want to switch. That's the circuit we want to throw this, the part of it we want to throw this into. So let's disconnect that. So this is what you would do up in your ceiling if you were going to add one. Straighten that one out because now we're going to be connecting them. We'll be putting a morette on that. I say morette, officially it's a wire nut, but uh, I use a lot of trade terms just from from job sites, what we actually say and the way uh, it's done that way. So now, if you look at this, officially switching this either way would work. You're just putting a switch in that wire. But officially, this is the way you want to do it. So you're going to be hooking up. Don't go, this is where a lot of people mess up, some homeowners, is they just naturally go black to black. But then what happens is you're too wires are whites. So if all this is in a box and that's all you see, the next person to come up there sees two whites and they have no idea which one is bringing power in. You, you have no identification on your hot now. That is why you always want to make it for on your device is black. So now when these are connected and that's all you see, if you disconnect that light and go to put on another one, you know where your hot is. You have a physical representation by color. So yes, you're going to be putting the black and whites together here to make that happen. That's fine. This is what you're doing. That's where people mess up a lot of times on switch legs when installing one. I always found the easiest way to remember is when installing a switch leg, power goes down, which wire does power come back on? It always comes back in black. Think of the ACDC song, you never go wrong. Power comes back on black, back in black. So we're going to do it that way. That was the main point in all this. Oops, sorry. The main thing that a, a lot of people mess up on. So now all we have to do this would be in your in the box. Just connect these. Make sure copper is starting at the same area. And then I'm red. Always put it on as tough as you can. And then when you're done, take your pliers, your clines, and even do two more turns. That will ensure that it is on there. What I like to do, even in residential, it's a complete overkill, but uh, it, it's just the habit I've had, is also take a piece of electrical tape in a clockwise form and just wrap it around that to hold it. Clockwise, so that way the resistance is stopping it from going counter when for this off. Just as an added little, just in case. So there we go. So now we have a switch leg. We have our regular switch. Power comes in, goes down our white, is switched over here. Whoops. Getting a little excited there. And then back on black so that this are the wires that are now hooked up to your switch. So you now have a switch leg installed on your light. Hope that helps somebody out there. I know that uh, I've had friends and people around me ask some simple questions towards this. So I just figured I would put it out there. Hopefully uh, it helps you out. Let me know. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day.